Kidney stones are increasingly prevalent in our pet cats. Like in humans, stones can cause a painful medical emergency. Cats form stones in their kidneys and in their bladder similar to humans. They can have a number of different symptoms if the stones are obstructing part of the urinary tract. If one of these stones causes a major blockage, then it becomes a medical emergency. Unfortunately, there's not a large number of treatment options for cats that have stones. It's getting close to 15 years. We've been working on two new technologies. Ultrasonic propulsion, where we use ultrasound waves that come through the skin, through the body, and move stones. And then uh, burst wave lithotripsy, which sends uh, similar ultrasound waves right through the body to break the stones into pieces. And now we're treating people right in the office. No preparation, anything. Just come on in, lift your shirt up a little bit. We put our probe on your side. We break their small stones and push out the fragments and hopefully they'll never have a problem with those stones. For most emergency kidney stone cases in cats, high-risk, high-cost surgery remains the only option. And, you know, in some respect, that's, that's what makes this application so impactful, is that they can go from doing an open surgery to a completely non-invasive procedure to, to you know, treat the, treat the cats. When we were working with these, these human systems initially, we, we worked with a number of urologists and one of, one of the urologists suggested this could be an excellent technology for veterinary applications. We had to adapt um, the equipment to be able to not only treat the smaller kidney in a cat and target the smaller kidney more precisely, but also to be able to break the stone down into smaller fragments. What we have in front of us are some of the iterations of the CAT transducer. It's actually been a large engineering feat to go through and innovate this. It's been one of the major projects that I've really sunk my teeth into. I've spent a lot of hours trying to perfect the design, working with a team that's been out over in Minnesota. We've had to do a lot of back and forth over email and Zoom. So I was giving them procedures on fully assembling the system. Just making sure that they could assemble this repeatedly every time was of the utmost importance. We've treated to date three cats. They all came in with obstructing stones in their ureters, the, the tube that connects the kidney and the bladder. I remember where I was when uh, I got the email that we treated our first successful cat, and it was just amazing to see that we'd successfully treated a cat, and it was almost a minute of shock when I first saw that. Beyond domestic house cats, the kidney treatment system has helped marine mammals as well. And we stumbled across a paper online of a team in University of Washington, so Michael Bailey. Save the dolphin on it. <laughs> and your collaborators about this new, innovative, novel treatment option. If we can treat a stone without having to do a full surgery, that is just a game changer for us. It was a very old dolphin who was in very poor health. And so she couldn't be sedated. And they thought she had so many other problems. Just maybe if we could remove this obstructing ureter stone, uh, she might do better. And certainly she'd be more comfortable. But we put on wetsuits. We pulled the dolphin over to the side. Uh, we put the probe up against her right by the pool and uh, treated the, the stones. We could see them break, we could see them move. She passed them and she started eating again and she went back in socializing with the other dolphins. A harbor seal with extreme stone burden in his kidneys was treated. BWL fragmented some stones and he was soon able to pass the pieces. The fragments, he, he seemed a little bit uh, ill-tempered for a day. Uh, well, he's probably passing those fragments. Um, so that one, the idea would be prophylactically to reduce the burden on that kidney by these stones that fill up the marine mammal's kidneys. Animals in the wild and domestic pets at home now joining humans in benefiting from 15 years of research into ultrasound kidney stone detection and non-invasive treatment.